Hi, Bethel. It's Pastor Chris here. I pray that as you are watching this, listening to this, whatever you're doing right now, as you're experiencing this, that the Lord would bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. This is a different kind of week for us as a church. It's a week dedicated to prayer, consecrated towards us seeking the Lord. And whether I've been here at the building or I've been at home walking about, there's a different feel, a different energy at work, at least in my heart. And I've been talking with other people's it's happening in other people's hearts too. Just this whole idea that the church is committed to 24-7 prayer, that someone is constantly praying, oftentimes more than just one person, to be to be perfectly honest. And it it kind of unites us as a church and as a body towards something different that God is doing whether it's focusing towards the needs in our church or beyond, or whether it's focusing towards where he's calling us to, this vision of the future in our church. And it is powerful. It is life-giving. It gives us strength, and it gives us hope. So I pray that you can commit to this. You could, We have a room open here where you can actually see um, how someone might come and do prayer. Many people are doing prayer at home. And all throughout the week, there's these opportunities to engage in prayer. Um, so when you're watching this, you will we will have already done worship um, on uh, on Wednesday night, and we're praying each night. So Thursday night and Friday night, there's going to be prayer at seven, all moving towards Sunday, which is Pentecost Sunday, a celebration of all the nations and cultures present in our church, but also a celebration of the gift of the Holy Spirit that unites us with Christ, that draws us towards His kingdom, towards life with Him. To continue to pray, to set aside these times, to ask the Lord what he's doing in your life. May the Lord bless you as you seek his face. There are also some other announcements and updates we just want to remind people about in case it's, getting, it's gotten lost in the shuffle. Uh, so here are a few things that we just want to make sure you remember. First, please remember to sign up uh, to volunteer for Bannerman in Action Day, May 29th. You can see the link below, and you can go sign up for that right now. We're trying to have as many people involved on that Saturday. We have somewhere close to 30 people currently scheduled. We'd love to have a few more just to engage and bless this community. So please sign up and volunteer if you're able to come for that day. We also want to remind you about these rounds of the Porch Encouragement Project that we've been doing together. I've been joining in on a few of these rounds, and it's wonderful to just have the, just the blessing of a conversation with you know some families I've never interacted with or some that have come to bless my family. It's been wonderful. And they are thinking of doing another round. If you've done this in the past and you're not quite wanting to continue doing it, that's fine. But if you want to participate in another round, please email Melanie at discoverbethel.com and let her know that you want to join in on this next round. And lastly, you may have seen an announcement uh, in the bulletin last week. As we prepare um, to say goodbye to Tom, it's going to be a farewell Sunday on May 30th. And what that announcement indicated was that we were asking people to set aside some time uh, between 11 to 1 o'clock on that Sunday, May 30th, for the plans to be announced. Uh, we're waiting for some clarity about what we can do from the province. Uh, hopefully those plans come soon so we could make those plans. Uh, but please, if you can set aside that time, um, I'm not sure, we're still hoping and praying it can look like this wonderful celebration of Tom and Janet, their faithfulness to coming here and serving this church, and also wanting to send them off well, blessing them as they go to Belleville and Ontario. So please set aside that time so that we can um, just remember them and remember all the incredible things that God's done during their service here at Bethel. Those are all the things that we have for you today. Always feel free to reach out to us if you need help, support, prayer. We are here with you, Bethel. May you seek his face this week.